Hi, the next topic is mapping variables. Mapping variables basically we are using for incremental loading. So here uh, I'm taking uh, MP source and target. Then I will explain the mapping variables part. So already I created a table uh, with the EMP underscore uh, variable. So just drag and drop the table into here. then take expression drag it up from source to here and from here to target create a mapping variable the state type uh, variable we are creating now okay v date or uh, higher date this data type is uh, date and time max of uh, variable value I am taking so here we have two options max and min max of variable value we are taking in the mapping so already we created one uh, variable so here we have uh, higher date using this higher date we are filtering data from source qualifier so here high date greater than single colon from mapping variables high date so this high date contain the max of the date okay first time it is empty after first execution in that records uh, for example uh, in EMP table we have 14 records in the first execution the variable date value is empty so that's why using that filter condition we are loading all records into the target in that 14 records the maximum date it will take and it will store in the variable so when you are running second time based on the filter condition it will check the max of high date greater than the source qualifier high date if you are inserting any new records that date will be higher than variable date so that record will insert into the target means new records so if you have already existing records that 14 records you are not inserted any new records in the source at that time it will oh, it will filter all the records because all are old records like that we can load incremental data so for that for high date we need to create one column variable we created but we are not assigned this high date to variable high date okay so variable date this is the variable port date and time variable port so here we have variables set max variable dollar dollar high date comma from source we are passing high date means this high date we are getting from source that high date value we are loading into the dollar dollar high date into that is a variable port this high date value we are loading into the dollar dollar high date the max from high date from source high date it will search for the max record that max value it will store in the high date dollar dollar high date okay apply and okay i'm repeating the steps first we created a mapping variable dollar dollar high date the data type is date and time so like this we can create a number of variables and parameters so here we are taking the maximum okay just we created a variable here in the mapping we drag and drop emp source and target after that we created one expression in expression this high date value we are passing to the variable port 
which we created here okay so do, to this variable we are passing this hal date value okay here we created this one here we created set max variable we took from here variables dollar dollar hal date this is our variable this hal date we are taking from the source so from the source from source hal date we are passing into variable so here we are taking maximum that's why the hal date will store the maximum value from the first execution then create a workflow create a workflow and uh, session and this session we can find out uh, how many records it's loading how it is uh, we are using for incremental load we can see okay workflow create variable create a session on this variable so here this is the squad i'm creating a new connection for this because i reimported from another database this squad user this is squad new mapping this is squad new user and target is squad user bulk to normal apply and okay save it so here we can check the maximum value of the variable so first time it is empty workflow start workflow so it's running we'll see yeah target contain all the already records so just i'm trying it and reload the table i think table generation is missed okay Okay, here also I'm changing the connection into Scott uh, new. Save it. Workflow start workflow. Okay, it succeeded. we'll see we we got any results or not okay 1987 we got 523 1987 so select uh, connect to database scott tiger edrate oracle S set num4 select star from 
EMP. So in this 87 is the maximum date. See here 523. So 523 is the maximum date. This one. 5 May 23rd, 87 is the maximum date. I am inserting one more record into here. Insert into EMP values. So the first employee number is 1000. Okay, employee name is uh, Ravi. And uh, employee job, job is uh, salesman. Okay, and uh, NGR, uh, NGR is 7902. Okay, and date, date is uh, 20 November, 20 November 2012. NOV 2012 and salary is 1000 commission is 200 and department number 20 enter okay one row creator so this is the latest uh, date okay already we have 523 1987 I'm running one more time from here cancel it workflow start workflow go to monitor so it succeeded okay so we can see how many records is loaded got some issue no problem I'll recheck everything again but we can check the data here you pushed in values so 11 20 2012 is the max value so how many records it's loaded into the target we can see here preview data so total records it's loaded so this is the latest record okay so one more time I'm running so here one more record we are loading 2000 sign and account Content and the MGR is 7782. The date 12th December 2012. This is the max date now. Next, salary 2000, commission 300, department 30. Okay, one row created. And next, go to workflow. So here, the maximum date is 11-20-2012. Now we created a new record, 12th December 2012. Workflow, start workflow. So now we will get only one record because that is the latest record. So one record C. From source we got one record. Okay, so here we can see the value, persistent value that is 12 12 2012. So here just refresh 2000 SAI account. So we got a new record. Like this we can load incremental data. I am running one more time. So we are not inserted any new records in the source. So how many records we will get in the target we'll see zero records because maximum date is this one 12 12 12 
so in filter we have condition what is the condition the source higher date greater than dollar dollar higher date in dollar dollar higher date we have 12 12 2012 in source also we have max of high date 12 12 after that there is no other records greater than that value so that's why we got zero records from the source so like this we can use variables to increment a load okay just we created a variable in mapping dollar dollar variable dollar dollar high date date type max okay thank you